Hello and welcome back to my channel, Rhiannon here, and today I am going to be painting a male dwarf paladin. I'm going to be using Citadel paints, and I got my figure from Tritex Games in Stafford. I'll pop a link in the description down below to their online store, or if you live in the uh, Stafford area, just be sure to check them out. I'll uh, pop a link in the description down below um, to their website. If you'll enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel to see more geek related content and also my other miniature painting videos I have done. So let's start painting! So the paints I'm going to be using today are Abaddon Black, Blade One Flesh, Mac Rage Blue, Uriel Yellow. Zamazi Desert and also some Runefang Steel. Um, the paint brushes I tend to pick these as I go along. Um, I'll also be doing some dry brushing towards the end. Um, go check out my other video, I'll put a little card up now. Um, go and click on that and that will show you the dry brushing technique that I use but again I'll go over that in this video as well. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with the blue parts of this figure, which is um, the, the cape um, and also the rest of the cloak as well. I think it's like a cloak. It's like really heavy, I don't know, kind of like I have authority kind of clothing. Um, I'm going to paint them in this Macrage blue. Um, and also these bits as well are also painted in Macrage blue with a bit of black and also a bit of um, steel like colour on as well but I'll touch on them a little bit later on. So what I'm going to do is start by shaking my paints and then I'm going to be using um, this masking fluid brush which is a size medium and it's quite a small um, tip I think on the end of it but I think it's not too big not too small to paint the larger areas on these figures because some of the figures are quite small so I've shaken my paint pot and all I do is I get um, small amounts of paint off the lid and then I go in thin layers because I think if you go in thin layers and you do multiple thin layers um, you can keep the bits of detail that is on the figure. So I'm going to start with the back of the cape and then work my way to the front of the figure. And don't forget that the um, the figures that are done by by WizKids um, are already primed so we don't have to do any priming at all with these action figures which I think is quite good because it just takes that bit of extra step off um, the list to do and you can just head straight into the painting of the figure. So what I'm going to do is once I've painted this back part I will then move on to the front part. It doesn't matter if you get um, bits on parts that you're not meant to because we can always paint over those a little bit later on and uh, neaten everything up as well. So small thin layers um, I find with the Citadel paint so that um, you don't always need multiple layers um, with the paints, which is quite good. So once I've finished that, I will move on to the front half of the figure. So what I start to do is I've painted the back of the cape. Um, I can still see the bits of grey of the um, figure on there, so what I'm going to do is give it another coat in a little while. And I've also started to move on to the front clothing of this figure. But because some of the bits are really, really hard to get to, um, I'm going to move to my small masking fluid brush. Um, I got these brushes in a set of three, I think it was, um, from my local hobby store called Hobbycraft, which is one of the big hobby stores we have here in the UK. And they've worked a treat so far. They're um, really soft brushes as well, and they have a really fine tip for getting those really intricate details. So, as you can see, I've now painted the front parts that are in blue. So, what I'm going to do now is paint these bits in blue. Um, I'm just going to go over all of it in blue, and then where it's like bits of it's black and bits of it's in um, like 
the uh, metallic colour. Um, I'll just go over it because it's just easier than stressing about getting it onto the bits I didn't want to get it onto. If I go in small enough layers though I'll still be able to see those bits of detail. And as you can see um, again I have stuck my action figure onto a little jar that I've got to give the manoeuvring of the action figure um, a bit more free. Um, and I also don't have to touch it as well because I can just use the jar to turn the figure. Which is a lot easier sometimes. And bits as well um, are also in blue and then the, and then the bumps on the end are in black. So what I might do, instead of painting the little bumps in black, um, I'll dry brush the black over. might be a bit easier than trying to find out where I need to paint the black parts. Right, so I have now finished painting the blue parts of this action figure and next I am going to be painting all the bits that are metallic looking which is mainly these parts here, so like the shoulder Part here and all the way down to the hand as well. It looks like he's got like um me like metallic um, like gauntlet gloves on, um, and also the helmet, and also these top parts of these whatever these are flags. I don't know. I don't exactly know what they are. Um, his boots and also the end of his weapon. So I'm going to be painting this in Rune Fang steel. Um, in the shop here in Tritex, this was the closest one I thought that looked like metallic -y and silver. So I'm just giving that a quick shake, make sure it's all mixed together nicely. And I will start with the armour on his shoulders and his arms. Um, there's also, oh, I got on his shoulder pads, the outline is like in a metallic, but I'll do that more towards the end uh, of doing this section. So I'm just going to paint the whole things in the silver metallic looking colour so I can go a bit messy-ish. Don't have to worry about it being too neat. Um, I have to do a couple of coats for some parts. Um, just because I've made a bit of a mess. But that doesn't matter because we can always cover them up. So don't be afraid of getting like the colours on the wrong parts by mistake because um, you can always, always paint over these. Right, I've just finished painting all the armour bits in the room fang still. I'm not quite sure if you can see. Um, so I've done the helmet. The arms, the shoulder plates. I've also done the outlines on here. I made a bit of a mess there, so what I'm going to do in a bit is wait for that little blob to dry and then just paint over that bit in blue. And I've also done his boots in silver too, and also the top of the flag. I'm just going to call them flag poles in Rune Fang steel. And what I've decided to do for the poles is just paint it black and then. Um, dry brush over with the silver um, because the little lines on there are actually silver and the bits in between are black. I don't think my paintbrush is that I have um, are thin enough to do that in two separate colours so I'm just going to do the whole thing in black and then dry brush in silver. Um, but what I'm going to move on to next is the weapon of his. As you can see, um, his I think it's like some kind of blunt axe or something, I'm not quite sure, um, is transparent. So what I'm going to do is just do a thin layer of this in Uriel Yellow. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And then I'm going to do the handle of this in, in brown. And I'm going to be using Mournfang Brown for this. And then what I'm going to do more towards the end is paint his little beard plaits in a bad and black. 
and also I will do the binding on the cape and the cloth bits of his outfit. So let's start on the next parts. Just put a really tiny dot on the end of my brush and then I'm just going to brush it on to here. I'm not worrying about getting any of it on other parts of the figure because I can always go over any bits that I have messed up oh, which I tend to do a lot but hey here, they're all human I'm just more focused about trying to get the whole of this um, handle I am going to be moving on to this part here which is in like a clear plastic so for this I'm going to be using the Ariel Yellow I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm not quite sure actually um, and all I'm going to do is put a thin layer of this over it so we can still see bits of the clear so now that most of this miniature is painted in the main colours that I want, um, I'm just going to paint the outline now in this Zamzezi Desert. Um, the gold I've got doesn't look kind of look like the gold. Um, on the reference picture um, and the Zamzi Desert is the closest I could find and you know I don't normally go off um, the reference photos but sometimes it's nice just to follow the actual colours so all I'm doing is the outline so if I start on the key and I'm just going to work my way around the miniature Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you my dry brushing technique. Um, I know Citadel do specific paints for dry brushing, but I just tend to use the normal paints because this is what I do when I do my cosplay and stuff. I just use normal paint and then do use this technique um, on cosplay. So I thought I could like merge this into painted miniature figures. So all I do is I get the paint that I want, so for this example um, I'm going to do black and then I'm going to dry brush the little like flay bits at the end of the flags, I'm still assuming they're flags um, so what I'm doing is putting a bit of paint on my brush and all I'm going to do is basically wipe as much as that off on the kitchen paper and then you'll have like a little bit left on your brush excuse me and then just brush over where you want it on the figure One more for the black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this technique for the uh, Ring Fang steel dry brush on the pole of these flags. So it'll just be the same technique, but it'll be a different colour and there we have it a complete 
Dwarf Paladin um, from the WizKids um, Dungeons and Dragons miniature collection. I suppose it's a miniature collection. I'm just going to do a little twirl of the figure so you can see what I've done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also to comment in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more geek related content and also my other miniature painting series as well. Um, I've done quite a few miniatures now so don't forget to go and check them out. I'll um, pop a link to them to that playlist in the description down below and I will see you guys all again soon. Bye!